This is a true story. A story of two different law enforcement officers handling virtually the same kind of call from concerned citizens in regard to other citizens openly carrying their weapons in public. The differences will be noted and law enforcement actions will be observed and compared. Remember, it is an officer's duty to uphold their oath to the Constitution of the United States. That is, to protect and secure the life, liberty, and property of the citizens they serve, and to facilitate, not hinder, their pursuit of happiness, as long as, in that pursuit, there is no infringement on the rights of others. Story number one begins with five young ladies, ages 18 to 25, who, hungry from a long trip, stop into a Marshfield, Missouri Walmart to grab a bite to eat. Two of the girls are armed, one with a Ruger 38 Special, one with a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber semi-auto handgun. We now turn our attention to story number two. A group of patriots peaceably assemble on a busy street corner to exercise their first and second amendment rights. At least two men are armed. This man with what appears to be a semi-auto rifle hanging to the front and this man with a rifle strapped to his back. Back to story number one. Enter law enforcement. Hey, this is my new case. see some identification. Oh. Do you have your identification? I can see. I do. I'd like to see it then. Okay. Is, is there, did I break a law or anything? Okay. I want you to see your identification, please. Has a law been broken, sir? I don't know yet. That's why I'm trying to determine here, okay? Now story number two. Enter law enforcement. How's it going, sir? I'm all right. How are you guys? This is what I call dedication to the cause out here in the ring. Hell yeah. <laughs> Back to story number one, law enforcement's interaction with fellow citizens. Are, are you guys here as well? Yeah. You're, just, you're, just with them. you're with them also? Yeah, with them. You're all traveling together? Yeah, yeah. we're all traveling. Okay. okay. You have some identification too. Folks, I asked you. Please step over here and say, oh, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. Do as I asked you. Story number two, law enforcement's interaction with fellow citizens. Very good. Very good. Shane. How are you doing, sir? Good. How are you doing? Jewel. I'm Nick. Nick, nice Nick to meet Jewel. you. Right on. Story number one. The officer attempts to explain why he's there. Am I sus being suspected of something? I don't know. I just get a call and that's the reason I'm here. I'm wanting to see some identification. Has a law been broken, sir? I don't know yet. That's why I'm trying to determine here, okay? Story number two. This officer attempts to explain why he's there. You guys are out here scaring people, so if people call, I gotta come. Yeah. You guys yeah. are ex exercising your freedom of speech, your Second Amendment rights, and that's all good. Which law enforcement officer do you think handled the matter constitutionally? And which law enforcement officer do you think puts a respectable face on police officers? Leave your comments in the box below and share this video with everyone you know. The purpose of this video is not to simply expose the cops who project tyrannical behavior, but to honor those who, because of inner integrity, will not back down from their oath to secure the people's liberty. Be sure to let everybody know which law enforcement officer you would rather interact with. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel, One Truth for Life, right here on YouTube. For updates and additional content, Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash one truth for life and on Twitter at one truth for life.